What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and we actually have a new pack for you guys, the Bay Area Film Pack. So we created this pack, it's full of film and VHS footage captured all over the different parts of the Bay Area. If you guys already bought the pack, I put a time code down there below to skip ahead to the tutorial where I show you some cool ways to actually use this pack. If you guys haven't seen Super 8 or VHS footage, it has that old time look to it. It's very vintage, it kind of looks like home movie, but we see it more often in a lot of music videos, promos, trailers, and stuff like that. So what we did is we drove around the Bay Area for about two or three days and we captured footage on VHS and Super 8 at common places in the Bay Area where people shoot videos and just landmarks. All the bridges, everything like that, we captured on Super 8 and VHS at different times of the day. So the reason we created this pack is we know how time consuming it is to actually go out and get all this B-roll. It would take you hours and hours, especially after shooting your video. Nobody really wants to go drive around for hours to capture B-roll shots. So we went out there and we already did that for you. If you wanna shoot on Super 8, that's pretty costly as well. It costs about $100 to get scanned, developed, and purchase the film. So that only gets you about three and a half minutes of footage, so that adds up quite quickly. We used about four to five rolls of film and we shot tons of VHS. If you guys wanna check out the pack, make sure to click the link down there below. It's on our website, cinepacks.store. If you guys are a new customer, use promo code CINE5 and you're gonna get $5 off this pack. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to edit with this stuff in Premiere. It's pretty simple, but there are some cool tips and tricks that you guys can do. So I'm gonna show you guys some of those. And yeah, make sure to check out the pack if you guys enjoy it. What is up guys? So I have the full pack right here. I'm going to drag these in. So what it comes with, it comes with uh, 10 minutes of uh, eight millimeter footage right there. It comes with the five minutes of glitchy VHS footage. So I went through and I glitched all this up. Uh, these are really small. They're like 480p, but that's what VHS scans in. But uh, there's actually some pretty cool things about having this small footage that I like to play around with. And then here's the link to the tutorial, uh, how you guys probably got here. So uh, I'm gonna be actually just chopping up uh, this video that has like some shots around the bay area so it has some drone footage uh, i'm gonna show you how easy it is i mean it's pretty self-explanatory but i'm gonna show you some cool stuff with the vhs so what we can do is literally just like that we can drag it in and you get some cool effects and you might want to click scale to frame size and then there you go we get the tops and we get the bottoms and we could easily chop these into the music video. Another cool thing is these actually work really well with our film burns. So if I drag a film burn on, I change this over to screen. Uh, this is another pack and just line up that sprocket of how it was shot, maybe scale it down just a little bit. And now if I play this, we get a film burn into the Super 8 footage. We could let that run a little longer. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, another cool thing that we can do is we can actually cut away to the VHS. So let's find the Bay Bridge shot. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of footage in here. Um, let's find that bridge that we're kind of by right now. There's that one. And we got some cool effects on it. So the cool thing is when you drag this footage in, it's way smaller. So one cool thing when you drag in this VHS footage is it's very small. But I kind of like the small boxy look of it. It makes it really easy to add effects on. So let's drag in some of this VHS footage as well. This is from our free pack and we can actually implement this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a frame hold. So like let's say it's playing. Let's say it's playing. And then this like frame holds right here for some reason. And we could click add frame hold right there. And then when it plays, you're gonna see it freezes and we can play around with all these. So you can also do some cool stuff too. We can act like, we can make a few cuts right here. We can make it zoom down. We can make it pop up. So it'll be, if that's going to the beat of the song, that's a cool thing you can do as well. And then we can actually drag some of this VHS footage on the bottom and we can change that over to screen. And then we have VHS like edits on the background. So definitely pick up the free VHS pack. And the cool thing is what I like about this, let's say there is no, we just have it on black. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to just duplicate these and make like three of them. I think that's a pretty cool and fun thing to do is kind of play around with these. And these can be all different. So just dragging these, I'm holding shift to make sure. I mean, they can be all lined up or we can make them even a little bit smaller. So that's at 90. I'll change this one to 90. 
and I'll change this one down to 90 and we can just move those around we can make them all different we have three different clips right there so we'll play that it's not perfect but that's one of my favorite things to do with the VHS and then in the promo I actually went crazy and I added ones on top and bottom and I made a bunch of squares but yeah so that's one pretty cool thing that you can do with it as well Another cool thing that I like to do with it as well is, let's find the middle one, where's the middle one at? There it is. So what we can do is uh, another cool effect to this, something similar like that is a uh, effect called replicate. So you can basically get the same type of effect, but it's the same clip and you get these cool repeating. You can play around with it. You can also scale it up and you get a bunch of them kind of a fun fact to play with but feel free to play around with them and do whatever you guys want to this pack use it in any music video any promo um, it's a lot of fun make sure to pick up the super 8 pack because i think those two work hand in hand together um, definitely the footage that you get out of a super 8 camera looks a lot more authentic even though we gave you guys a lot of assets in the super 8 pack the bay area pack definitely has like a certain characteristic to it um it always looks good when you shoot straight out of camera. Um, and yeah, have fun with the VHS footage as well. There's loads of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial.